Hey, Captain Mon here. Hey, this is for the NAM players. One of the things that you can do that will improve your game the most is get rid of the fixed static reticle. Your game will improve. I guarantee it. So let's get in and explain exactly why that is. Okay, here we go. So what you need to do is you go to the Aslanes website and you go to one of these right here. Any of these direct links, I prefer those. And you can see when I click on it, it's going to um, ask me to save the executable file. So I don't need to, I don't need to look for any, uh, you know, it's, it's going to save it exactly like that. I don't need to unzip anything, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So save that and download. Now, I already have it going here. So when you open up as lanes, it's going to, um, yeah, it's going to tell me I have another version. Yeah, I know. I don't need to do that. Um, I recommend the first time you do it to show the preview windows when you get on it, and I'll explain those in a second. So we, um, it's going to tell you what um, have been added or changed since the last um, update, and you can see there's, it's on the correct version, and then there's updates as it goes along. So currently, the current one is 10, but the last one that I you opened was 9. Um, it's going to default, once you I happen to have my game on the D drive, uh, but wherever yours is, once you do it, if you keep using as lanes, it'll always remember where your game is located. Now, there's a lot of of there's a lot of different options on here, but we're only going to be talking about Nomogram right now. And you can see I've got some that are already clicked, and we're we're not going to go through those. But we're going to just scroll down just a little bit, and this is the area that we're interested in. We want the Nomogram Classic, and you can see the preview window has popped up, and it it's just a screenshot of uh, what it is you're going to be using. Now, they have various versions. They have uh, this one with the spider web thing. I, I'm sorry, I just don't see any benefit of this uh, spider web thing because the only two things you care about are this right here, the tick marks that, that I'm going to explain to you, and the circle on the mini map. That's all you need. The, the, these don't, don't do anything. They're a uh, whoopee, if anybody remembers that movie. Anyway, so you're going to then uh, go ahead and install it, and then we'll um, show you in-game what you're going to do. So let's look at the information that is provided in the reticle that you might not be aware of. The first thing we're going to look at is the number that you see in the screenshot here. It says 10.75 seconds. That's telling us the time that that shell will be in flight before it hits the little circle that's down at the bottom of the minimap. I don't know if you've ever noticed that little circle, but we'll talk about it in a minute. But that is the time that it's going to take that shell to arrive, 10.75 seconds. The next thing that we're going to look at is one of the Aslan's mods that shows the max speed of a ship in your in your reticle. It's, it's in there. I didn't show it to you earlier, but it's there. And this one shows us that the Montana is capable of 30 knots, obviously minus the speed flag. But it just gives us a little reminder of how fast that boat can go. No speed boost or anything like that. 30 knots. So in this particular case, we're going to make a shot, but if you notice that the enemy in this case had just turned, so we know he's not fully going 30 knots. So if we look at the reticle, we know our shot is going to take 10.75 seconds. We know the ship can go 30 knots, but we just saw him turn in this example, and so we know he's probably not fully going the 30 knots. So look where I put the 10. So we know our 10.75 is probably around close to 11 uh, using the top 30 knots. We look at the we look at that and we we put it actually a little bit about three quarters of the way back of the boat because we know that he's probably going like 28. So he's building speed, but he's not going the 30 knots. So we're gonna not lead him quite as much as we should. 
So that's the information that you need to gather while you're looking at it. The next thing we're going to look at is that tick top tick mark again. As we explained, it assumes the time of a ship going 30 knots. So like I said, we have our 10.75, we have our boat 30 knots, and maybe not going quite 30 knots, so we're going to drop it back just a little bit. The next one that we're going to look at is the bottom tick mark. So you can see it says 15 right at the 10 mark. That's because the bottom mark is assuming that a ship is going 20 knots. So where do you use that? You do use that when you have a DD that you know is going close to or maybe a little bit above 40 knots and you double the bottom tick mark in order so if this was a DD going 40 knots, we would look at our 10.75, we would double it to roughly 22. And if he's going right around 40 knots, we would move the bottom tick mark to the middle of the boat at the 22 mark. That's going to give us the lead time that we need to hit that DD. Your DD accuracy is going to go up, I guarantee it, um, especially Clabert. So what do you do with a Colbert, right? Or Apollo Emilia with speed boost on, they're going 56, 57 knots. We take the top, we go back to the top tick mark at 30 knots and we double it. So if this was Apollo Emilio going 57 knots, we take our 10.75 and we double it. 22 isn't even on the screen, so we would have to, um, we would have to roll our scroll wheel back just a little bit to get more range on it but we would probably put that we know it's not 60 knots and so we would probably go right around 20 20 and a half and we would use that our likelihood of hitting a dd goes up dramatically uh, i can assure you and finally we're going to look at that little circle the little circle down on the bottom right hand corner that tells you where your shells are going to land. So in this case, the time is going to tell us where to put the reticle left or right, but it doesn't tell us where to really put it up or down. That's where we can go down to the circle on the map and we can get make sure that that is right there exactly where we need it. Yeah, we can look at the waterline. Now, in this case, this boat is almost going exactly at a 90 degree angle to me. Um, so I, I really don't have to raise the shots higher or lower to account for the ship going away from me or towards me. But that circle, it's a really good habit to just get in a glance down at that circle map. It's great when a ship goes uh, disappears because you can... Uh, put that circle uh, where you think the ship is going to turn w along with your time adjustment um, that you've made and you can make the shot. You'd be surprised um, how you can get shots on that. So let's actually um, look at this actually in the game. Now let's get into the game. Now you probably have that static reticle. Once again, it's probably the type 2. Most likely that's the default. Now, if we look at it in game and we move that crosshair up and down, you can see, and you can see the little white circle moving in the minimap. That those that reticle, those tick marks, they don't do anything. They don't have any extra information for you. Nothing. They provide no value other than just a basic reference point. So let's go back into the control panel. We'll select the dynamic. Um, I prefer the classic. That's the two tick marks that I explained earlier. The modern only has one set of uh, tick marks. But um, yeah, so I, I prefer the classic. There's also the type one that's delivered in game, but I don't recommend it at all. Uh, Little White Mouse and uh, I Chase, they've already shown that it's not very accurate. But once again, if you look in the nomogram, you can see it, it gives you an example in the game showing you the dual tip marks. Of course, you now know that the top one is going 30 knots and the, the bottom one is going 20 knots, which you can use and double for um, DDs. 
So we take that cursor, now look at that circle in the minimap. You can see it going up and down, but now the reticle tick marks that actually equal something, that's the time and speed of the ship, they move depending on how close you are and how, ac how close you or far away you are from the ship. So let's actually go into a battle. I'm in the static reticle. I'm just going to kind of wing it here because I'm just going off a feel and let's see what happens. Um, take the shot at this Yami. And you can see I didn't try to miss. I tried to hit it. Uh, I missed it badly. Okay, so let's, same game. It's still rolling. The game's still going on. Let's go into the controls. We're going to do this really fast before we get deleted. Going to change, choose the Nomogram Classic. So our our ship is out there, 12, 13 seconds. We're going to move that cursor right around the middle of it. It's a Yami. It's probably going about 30 knots. Let's take that shot. Not using the mini map circle on this one because he was going straight across, but you get the idea. And he appears, and boom, 15k. Much different result on that shot. All because I used the time. That's all I did. Now, I, I did see this Montana over here. I, I looked back at them and they fired at me, um, but I saw the Montana and he was beginning a turn. So now I'm using them. I'm looking at the mini map. I'm looking at his speed. I see, you know, it's this 21K shot. Uh, got a, about a six second time. I put that circle where I think the ship is going to go and I take my shot. So this is a mini map and time shot and Citadel, another 15, what was it? No, 20,000. Okay. I missed the next shot. This is all in the same battle, same, same ships. I see him moving across. He's coming at me just a little tiny bit. I'm looking at the mini map. I'm getting my time and I'm taking my shot and look at this. This is going to be right smack dead in the middle of the boat and a pow. Citadel, another 20k. Awesome. So I turn out a little bit here, looking at the other boats. I'm, I'm, now this is just for example. I decide I'm going to take a harder shot just to show you. So we're out there. I got the tick marks where about where I think they're going to be. It's 13 seconds. I move it out there. I raise it up. I'm looking at the mini map. I raise it up and I take my shot. Now, I let him just a little too much, but I still got much better results than I would have gotten with a static reticle, and that was a Citadel, another Citadel. So you can already see that just in this one game, big improvement over the results between um, the static and the uh, dynamic reticle. Here, this uh, Buenos Noches guy, uh, he's focused on another boat there. I didn't really look over there, but I saw him coming. I kind of didn't really need the timing reticle, but um, it was still a pretty shot with a pretty good result. Um, he's obviously slowing down just a little bit. So anyway, once again, right in the middle of the boat, boom, double Citadel. Didn't get the kill, 33,000, but I'll take the damage. And then finally, we'll move on towards the end of the battle. I saw the thunder. He's coming at me. I was kind of hoping to get around this island first, but he's focused on the other thunderer. He really wants him. And I'm just like, okay, five second shot. He's probably not going 30 knots. In fact, he's slowing down. So I move it back and not slow down a little bit more than I thought. Still a nice salvo, though. I'm like, please reload, please, re please reload. Still keeping a little bit angled in case he decides to go this way, but no, his guns are over there. I see he's starting to stop here. The seconds I'm watching the smoke and I see it starting to bend. He's starting to go backwards. So I just move it back because I want the middle of the boat. And uh, so I just move it back just a tick and let it rip. And adios, muchacho. <laughs> so anyway, we, uh, we almost threw this match, but um, it worked out. It was a good battle. Got some good reticle shots so you can see the advantages of the Nogram. I hope this helps. 169,000 victory. Uh, didn't get the top spot, but pretty close. Uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.